I've got a couple vehicles here in desperate need of a seat cleaning. In two of my other videos, I detail the insides, but I skipped the fabric cleaning part. I thought that was a bit outside my detailing ability, but after watching a few Chris Fix videos, I realized it was fairly simple and safe on the fabric as well. And just a quick shout out, if you haven't watched the Chris Fix series where he took a vandalized vehicle and completely restored it, it's a must watch. Two of the videos were my motivation for even starting this particular project. So let's get started with the seat cleaning and I will be using the same product used in Chris Fix's video, the Meguiar's carpet and upholstery cleaner. And we'll be starting off with the Nissan Hardbody. My understanding is this seat was cleaned using a similar product before I got it, so we'll see how much more we can get out of it. I have a feeling an extractor is going to be required to get it looking brand new, but I think this product will work great on the stains in the carpet in the back. So let's see how it does. So these will be my weapons of choice for today. Uh, I've got the Meguiar's cleaner, I've got a microfiber towel, and I've got a brush that I bought at AutoZone. The can on the Meguiar's does come with a brush, but it's made of a thin plastic, and I thought that might be a little bit too rough for the seats. Uh, the other brush I have is a little bit softer bristle, but I found out in the end, probably the one on the can works just fine. So always read over the instructions, and in this case the instructions said to test a small piece of fabric to make sure it's not going to cause any issues. I did that on the floorboard. There was a slight stain, so I uh, put it on there, no issues, and I think this is going to be safe for the seats and the carp in the back. Now when you put this stuff down, give it about 30 seconds to seep into the fabric. I think I jumped the gun here and started using the brush a little too quick, but I did do it in subsequent times where I sprayed on the upholstery cleaner and let it set for a little while. That's what you're supposed to do. Then you're supposed to agitate it with a brush, let that set for a little while, and then wipe it up with a microfiber towel. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and see what it looks like uh, once it dries to see if there's any difference. And we'll go ahead and get started on the back. So yeah, that is already a huge difference, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit it again and see if we can get a little bit. I can see some faint staining over on that one side, so I'm gonna try it one more time, but right now it looks much better. All right, that almost looks new. What we'll do is give it some time to dry and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's completely dry. And I'm gonna go ahead and try the front seat one more time. As you can tell, uh, we still got some staining going on here. As you can tell here, it's not perfect. Uh, there's still some stains left. I wish it would've got a little bit cleaner, but I think that I'm gonna have to get a, a vacuum extractor in order to get it to the uh, level of clean that I want it. And then here is a week later, the back looks much better. The stains have been removed. There's, you can still see a little bit of the stain left, but if you've never seen it before, probably wouldn't even catch your eye. And then here's the seat, eh. And 
And here's a few before and after side-by-side -side shots. Next, we'll move on to the Kia. In both these vehicles, both the Kia and the Nissan were owned by the same owner for about seven to 10 years. So you see a little bit of the same issues in each. Uh, they both had coffee stains all over the seats and you know the normal wear and tear that you're gonna get over a seven to 10 year period. But I will say the seats in this Kia are made of a different material and it's a lot easier to clean. So yeah, I'm not sure what's up with the blue tin here, but as you can see, this side is much worse. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of darker stains here. So let's see how it does on that. So it's still damp here, but you can still see the stains that were there. Um, it's not really as noticeable as it was, and all those dark stains did come up, so that was uh, that was surprising. But you can still see the faint stains. Those type of stains, I think, are going to take an extractor in order to get those out. I think that's where the cushions underneath have got whatever coffee or whatever's in it. So every time you wet it, it's pulling just a little bit of that up. So in order to get that completely clean, we're going to have to get an extractor. And then here's a shot about four or five hours later. The seats are completely dry, and it does look a little bit better than it did earlier. But this is the end of the video, and if you found it helpful or interesting at all, please hit the like button and think about subscribing. Thanks.